Team Cyprian, once again, welcome to my channel. I'm super excited. Thank you, thank you so much. In case you are watching this channel for the first time, kindly please subscribe so that you become Team Cyprian member or Team Cyprian family. So, as you all know, kuna hii mambo imete muka temutemu. Ya rigati gashawa impeachment and then kuna wale maempis ambao wa wakuweza kufote ama wanya wakuweza kufika pale bunge. So, President Ruto, in fact, I don't have to call him President Ruto, uh, ni yule yule tu mmoja. Unajua Ruto ni mwanafunzi wa moi. And you all know moi vila alikuwa natupeleka hii Kenya. As much as we enjoyed maziwa ya moi, juzi ni miwana mwingine kusema, oh, you people, you should uh, celebrate moi day. Siji muna kumbuka maziwa, moja akamuliza, kwani ni ya alikuwa nakamuliwa. Yani wa Kenya, wa Kenya wako na mambo. Anyway, as you all know, Ruto ni student wa moi. Moi ndi ya dimshikilia mkono, akamuelekeza, aka akamfunza. So there are so many things Ruto learned from moi. And now, wakati unona Ruto ako na rongumu, nire roo ya moi. You all know moi had governed for this country for how long. Muna mjua mamba likuwa nafanya. So, tuskiona Ruto, unaona moi. And then, Ruto is trying to be a dictator, a dictator in this country. Because, why should you punish those people who voted no? Because, kila mtu akona, akona sababu, why ali forty yes or no? By the end of the day, Siri metokia kwamba, those people who voted yes, they were given 500,000 each. Now, fanya sabu, 500 each them, so wale watu watu wani wali pika yes, 281. MPs. How much were they given? Na Kenya, kuna maali ambapo hakuna hata chakula. Hakuna hata maji. Now, shockingly, imeweza kusemekana kwamba, uh -huh, let me read. MPs who defied majority fear state plotting to punish them, including Ndindi Nyoro. Ndindi Nyoro ako kwa shida sana. Ndindi Nyoro yeye, Akina, akina babu wino aku, awakuweza kuingia pale kupiga kura yao, wakaenda venya warienda. So, wale ambao walifoti no, ama wenye awaku, awaku chitokeza, wako kwa shida. And you all know, especially kama saa hii, president yaneza wanyima maendeleo kufanyika kwa constituents zao, since that wa wawezi wakamti, ama wawezi wakamsikiza vila nasema. And you know most of these MPs, wanaskiza because wanataka, ndio wakienda kuomba maendeleo nini constituents yao ndio wapewe. And remember, this is our right. Basisa ruto ya meichukulia, anataka kuifanya kama ni mali yake, anatoa kwake anakupati. Anasau kwamba the same same Kenyans, sisi ndio tunapeana ushuru, ushuru itoke ikuzi tufanyi, itusaidi in our counties. Mba sasa hameichukua imekuwa yake, mbaka anataka kukontrol these people, and anataka kila mtu wa mfoti, yes. Anyway, I just want to read something here, ndio tuweze kuelewa wiz, Ruto. Uh -huh. Some of the MPs who supported Deputy President Rigadi Gashawa claimed the state could be plotting to punish them. Some of them are already wanted men. MPs James Sigakui Embakas North and Benjamin Gadiru Embakas Central are only free because they obtained court orders stopping the Directorate of Criminal Investigations, DCI, the Inspector General of Police, the Director of Public Pol Pre Prosecution, and the Anton General from charging them in connection with the protest that rocked the country on July. Some of the 44 registrators who divide with their 282 colleagues now fear a fate similar to that prevail supporters of Deputy President William Ruto, who accused President Uhuru Kenyatta of using the police to intimidate his rivals. Now, <laughs> Gashawa, who was one of the leaders who complained that this year was being used to silence him, now finds his allies in a similar position. The DP condemned the plan to arrest those associated with him, criticizing attempts to link him with the Gen C and government protests. President William Ruto and I, on assuming office, gave an undertaking to the people of Kenya that never again shall the criminal justice system be called upon to help in the management of politics. I am embarrassed that we are back to where we were. 
Harassment of my office staff and members of parliament perceived it to be close to me has been going on for the last two months. Eh, 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 eh. Yani, e dunia ikona mambo. This administration is hell-bent on harassing and leader seen with Gashawa. I could like to encourage the MP school stood with their electorate to stand firm and not to buy fear from the oppressors we shall endure, he added. Githunguri MP Gadoni Wamchomba said she was first threatened with removal from the Constitutional Implementation Oversight Committee of the National Assembly when she refused to vote for the Embargent Embargent Finance Act 2024 only for the members to save her. She was, however, appreh apprehensive that she may be injected out of the committee this time round after she rejected over two hours, uh, after she rejected to vote for Gashawa impeachment. I have lived with the threats and intimidation. I could not be shocked if I was removed from the committee because of my personal decision. In any case, I was first removed from the transport committee in the former administration because of my association association with Ruto when he was the deputy president. Marawa MP Mary Wamaua maintained that this, she stood with Gashawa out of her consistent conscience and as a result of her, her rights enshrined in constitution. I followed the Bill of Rights, Freedom of Association and Expression through that I feel I have not wronged anybody because I followed what the majority of the people of Marawa who are my bosses sent me to do in the National Assembly, she said. During the public participation of Gashawa's impeachment, Kriyaga women rep Jenny Maina was summoned by the DCI of alleged plan to cause kills. She described the summons as which aunt to intimidate her. <laughs> now, uh, Mimi, who anasema Kenya mali to mefikia walai, it's only God to save us. Yani, Ruto anataka kila mtu ana, am support. Ataki mtu yote akwe na different opinion. We, this is our country whereby it's governed by the rule of law venye Ruto unashinda ukisema. I'm so shocked wakati mtu anasimama aseme no ama yes, you will haunt them. Why? Because yeye ya kifoti no, akona sababu yake why she voted no. When you are 40 years, what on a sababuza, why they voted no? But we all know in this country, Ruto he usually buys people to vote against the will of God, or the will of people. Because in Gekua, ni what to humble my peace, wa Gekua na freedom yao. Wambiwe now, we just want you to vote genuinely. Yala mambo mungiona pale kwa pare mentiata ni mungeshtuka. But because Ruto akona pesa na ananua wabunge, that's why unaona wabunge wanafoti vile wameambiwa. They don't vote according to people with their will. They fought because they are told like 40 years. So kama hao wengine wanyo wali 40, no. Why they are being threatened? That means whatever they are doing, the impeachment is awkward. That means the impeachment ni kitu tu ya kudanganyilia wa Kenya ili waone kwamba amekuwa impeached, alikuwa amekosa na ajakosa. We have seen so many videos Ruto wewe pia mwenye ukiongea vibaya. Wewe during your time, ulikuwa unaongea vibaya hata kuna video ukisema kwamba wa Kikuyu wa Kalenzi ni kwanza mko na shida na wa Kikuyu kuliko N tribe but hakuna mtu alikushika we have seen videos of you talking against kuongea vibaya uh, nini kwa watu but uhuru wako kushika hakukupeleka bungeni ili uende kukua impeached so this is the Kenya we are living whereby a president Ruto anataka control kila mtu sasa mimi nashanga if we is going to control everyone who is going to stand with Kenyans who is going to work for people because at the end of the day, these people, they are going to work for, for themselves. Our wezi waka, wakaangalia kwamba wa Kenya wanaitaji our service. That means they are going to work for Ruto, but not for people. I don't know why, Ruto, you want to turn this country to be a banana republic. This is a country whereby tukona wale watu wadipigania freedom of this country. But now, wakati ambapo tunafaa kujenga Kenya, ndiyo inendelea kumomolewa.
Anyway, I don't know, guys. What do you think? <laughs> what do you think about this video? Kwamba, President Ruto amianza ku haunt those people who voted no, including in Dindi Nyora. But with me, I think Dindi Nyora rifanya kitu mzuri ya kuweza kuonekana pale. Why should you show up for something? And the fun thing, how am I in peace? What? Wakati ilikuwa ni kufotu walikuwa pale. Kesho yake wakati ilikuwa ni important meeting awaku kuwa pale. So that means they only care about their stomach. They don't care about common mwana in. Because kama walikuwa wanatakia wa Kenya mazuri, following day wangeenda basi waskize. But the first day walikuwa pale wakafotu. What? Walikuwa pale because walikuwa wanakuwa, wanapewa 500,000 each. So walikimbia pale wakajua, ipese tafanya nini tatusaidia. But after that, they don't care. We have never seen some of them when walikimbia wakafoti, no. We have never seen them waki, wakiongea anything constructive in that uh, nini parliament. Awajai si mama wangea kitu yeote. Awajawai, wako hapo tu wakati wanasikia kwamba kuna free money ndio wanakimbia. But wakati kukona shida ambazo wana, nini wanainzi wanafaa, wasaidi wama watatuliwe hizo mashida za awako, they are nowhere to be seen. But wakati hiko ni kuimbiti, ni kufanya vituko zenye wao wenye wanajua, wao watakuwa kule. Anyway, I don't know guys, what's your take about this thing ya nye inendelea ambapo, tutu anataka to control everyone. Tutu anataka chukwe mampisu watu wakwe papetsi wao. Na wao wako wapo wanaitikia. I like the likes of senators. Some of the senators, you can see they are super bright. Hmm? Yani wao wako hapo tu, very bright guys. Kuna mampisu wengine wazuri, kuna maseneta wengine wazuri wanasimama na wakenya. And wherever you are guys, we applaud you, we are proud of you guys. And anyway, to Tim Sipri, I don't know what you think about this video. Apo kwa comment section tuambie, do you think Ruto is becoming Idi Amini Dada ama wengine tunagiz? Anyway, to Tim Sipri, I can say thank you so much. God bless you. See you in our next video.